Oh, absolutely. The Nifty itself is getting ready to hit a century, right? Lata, 90 points higher now. And a lot of individual stocks are moving up. So I just want to take the discussion forward with a management joining us. Escorts is the stock on our radar right now. In fact, it was a mixed bag for them. The revenues were very strong. It was a 60% growth that Escorts saw. But the margins were slightly lower than what the street was estimating. And there is, of course, raw material cost pressures as well. Uh, Bharat Madan, the group CFO of Escorts, joins us now to talk about that. Uh, Mr. Madan, good morning and hope you are safe and healthy. Uh, you know, in your press release, you mentioned that uh, there is some pressure that you are seeing because of COVID and the impact on demand, especially in rural areas. Can you just give us more details? Which are the geographies which are getting impacted? And is it only demand that's getting hit or even uh, production and supply issues are creeping up now? Hi, good morning, Sonia. Yeah, we are all safe and we hope the same with, with the CNBC staff. <laughs> Uh, these are the challenging times. Obviously, the environment somewhere or other is getting impacted. So, yes, to your question, I think this time the second wave has been obviously quite serious. Unlike in the first wave, we had actually you no know, impact on the whole side. But this thing we are saying the impact has been coming now on various states and the new markets are getting impacted. And that we are seeing in the demand for April month also. Uh, the, so the, everything, all of the factors were positive, but definitely that had an impact on the demand. So I think the situation is dynamic. As you see, the May obviously has been going the way various lockdowns have been announced across the state. So definitely most of the India actually is in the lockdown right now. So that ought to have an impact on the numbers for this year. But good thing is, if you look at the rural side, I think the factors are all positive. Very record output for the Ravi crop, good return in the government, good pricing for the farmers. So cash flow-wise, I think the rural still is in a much better shape. And whenever the recovery happens, uh, so, like we see, saw in the last time after the lockdown, there was so much of rental demand. So, we expect the same thing can actually happen this time too. So, we're just keeping our fingers crossed and hope the things will actually recover soon and everything normalizes. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, Mr. Madan, uh, I, I, I wanted to ask you, you know, uh, uh, when we speak with agricultural economists, they're extremely positive in terms of the agri prices. Uh, they expect most of the uh, farm prices to be higher than the MSP. So even if the government doesn't procure, the farmers are going to have uh, a fairly decent earning in the coming year. Uh, <clears throat> that seemed positive. So what is not happening is only because of dislocation and no retail outlets open. So what would your your own forecast be for the year in terms of uh, volumes? So look at the good thing is the sowing season is still to start. So normally it starts from mid of May after the harvesting is done. And this continues till sometime by first week of July or middle of July. So so that is a critical period. So even though May may be a Washed on month, but even if the recovery starts happening in the soil, because the farmers do need tractors for soil. So, so the demand is definitely there on the ground and the money is also available with them. So, it's only a question of timing. Now, if you have to cash the month of June, also it can be a good month. You can actually see good demand coming in. But by any chance, if the same situation continues in June too, as we've seen in May, then obviously the season for the sowing is over. You know, then, then the next season will only come in the second half of the year. Then we can't expect first half to be really better you know, in terms of the growth. So we're really banking that the May at least a good month where we see the pandemic issues are sorted out, the peak is already looks like it's over. So the cases are going down. And if June sees a good recovery, then maybe you can see a good demand coming into the job. One minute, Bharat, Bharat, one market. minute, one minute. I take your point that, uh, you know, rural the outlets to buy tractors are not open in May. But uh, you're hoping that they will be open in June. And you just definitely want it to be open before the sowing starts in July. But are so many of the Tier 2 cities uh, seeing economic restriction? Uh, the Most of the uh, lockdown-like lockdown restrictions were in the large cities. Uh, I would assume tractors are bought more in Tier 2, Tier 3, Tier 4 cities. Even there, you are seeing severe retail activity being curbed? So, look, I'll just want to clarify one thing. The tractors, uh, farm equipment, actually the outlets are allowed to open. So, these are actually categorized under essential category with Ministry of Home Affairs. What is the system. problem? So, issue is, I think, more because of the COVID situation. Because the dealers, families, their oh. own extended families, their sales executives who are actually infected. 
So it's not the channels are not open. They are open, but thing is they are open for a week and then something happened and then they are again shut down for certain reason. Now since most of these are proprietary ships or the partnerships, which is essentially led by a single man or two men show. And if rich family is getting infected, and therefore is a challenge, and also opening the outlet. So it's not that channels are not opening. So issue is adding more. We don't know which channel will open when. You know? So that is adding bigger challenge we are facing right now. So every day, few of the channel actually go under closure for the because of COVID restriction. If they go into quarantine, then you actually gone for 10 days or 15 days. You know, so that is a bigger challenge right now. So I think issue is not under the opening of channel, and they are allowed to open as per the government guideline. Uh, but the challenge is more in the sort of pandemic situation, which is prevalent in this global area now. Okay, I know it is a very, very tough time to predict which way things are going to go and what the industry might do. But any ballpark assumptions or guidance that you're working with for the industry as a whole? I mean, in FY21, the industry saw 20, uh, you know, your own business saw 20% domestic volume growth. What do you think the realistic assumption could be for FY22? So yeah, it's, it's like our assumption continues the way we are expecting now. If the June opens up, you know, then actually you will not lose the first season also for this year. So if we are able to catch up part of that season, then the second half is likely to be good now. If you think there is no third wave which is equally severe or more severe than what this is, then things should be actually better. You know, then we can actually expect the recovery may happen in the industry, and we can still see maybe mid season digit growth in the industry volumes this time. But if the June goes bad, then it can be concern. I mean, then you only depend on second half and the already high base. So that probably can have an impact on the industry numbers for the year. One minute. If if June works and if we are done with the uh, ferocity of the COVID in May, then you expect single digit. Yeah, mid second digit. You know. Mid. Oh, okay. Even then, it's only mid single digit. Uh, and no, the base is very high at time in the industry. It's already touched nine hundred thousand in the three plus years. So that's on a higher base. So that growth is very fair good number. Fair point. Fair point. It's only if you miss June that you have a problem. I take your point. Uh, Bharat, what about uh, pricing? The, uh, just about every auto uh, guy is complaining about this very high commodity prices. So how much can you pass on, especially when people's back is broken for other reasons? Will you have to take a hit on margins? Yeah, so we've seen that effect of the coming in the last quarter also. So since the inflation was very high, it's almost seven eight percent till March, you know, and we were able to pass on with two price increases so far, only about four to five percent. So it's still a lag which we're carrying, and there's further pressure coming in in this quarter too. So that's something one cause of worry for everyone. I think all the players are actually impacted, and it's not possible to pass on hundred percent uh, cost increases to the market looking at the demand scenario right now. So I think we are also taking a cautious call, but definitely one another price increase is imminent in the coming quarter, and maybe if the devaluation continues in that quarter too, maybe this is a trend which we will see. But this is a very unprecedented sort of increase we have seen actually on the commodity side, has never seen in this industry. Absolutely, I mean for every industry, right? It's unprecedented times. Uh, I wanted to understand what the impact of the exports of the Kubota tractors could be. I mean, you started exports in four markets from Q4. Um, what would this do for your overall volumes, and how are things with that JV? So JV has already started production. They already started producing Kubota tractors. So they will go into production with our Escort brand tractors also from uh, Q2 of this year. And that will add another thirty thousand of capacity for us, you know, so in the sort of volume requirement. So export has been good. Even last year, we seen almost thirty percent export growth has been there for us, and that trend continues. We just started exporting some of the models, some tractors to some of the markets for Kubota, and those markets will gradually expand as we are going into the coming years. And we expect uh, export will continue to be a quite good focus area for us, where the growth will continue to happen, and our expectations are really good on that front. All right, uh, we'll leave it at that, Bharat. It was a pleasure speaking with you, and uh, of course, for the sake of uh, tractor sales and for the sake of everyone, one hopes that May is the worst month and uh, things start recovering in June. Uh, once again, let us play the recovery numbers for you. The recovery numbers look very good. Uh, you know, the new cases at 2.8. Every Monday, the cases fall because on Saturday, Sunday, the testing falls. And uh, for, I would still take a lot of encouragement from the numbers that have come over the weekend. We know that every Monday the numbers will show a dip, but recovery numbers 
showing an improvement to 3.7.